last Saturday, I went down to get a haircut. My regular gal actually was busy. And so I had to take this other young lady, her name was Michaela. And as she went to shampoo my hair, I had to take out these little gadgets called hearing aids. And she looked at me and she said, I have one right here. So we began this conversation about hearing aids and how she was a young person. And she said, you know, I had this microphone that I used to wear on my shirt because she's a hairdresser and she was able to communicate much better because she was completely deaf in one ear, only about 50% in her other ear. And as I was sitting listening to this conversation, I thought, I have that microphone sitting at home and I don't use it. And so we continued. It was a fascinating conversation because when you have two people that understand each other about not being able to hear, it was really, really a neat thing and um, got a little bit of emotional for both of us. So I went to leave and I gave her a tip and I said, I need to do something and I couldn't wait to get back. And I got the microphone and the little thing and I took it back and just happened to be hardly anybody in there. And she was like, did I do something wrong? And I was like, no, no, not at all. And I handed her this little bag and she said, no way, you're not doing this. And I can't even begin. It was just an amazing thing that happened. And for me, the biggest thing was I finally, finally get to do something amazing. It was a bigger thing for me, I think, than it was for her, except for she shed a few tears. I have been so blessed across the years, from my ears to hearing aids given to me to working with the else. And I was just like, Lord, this is so awesome.